So, <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you found that and uh, appreciate that. That's, uh, that's, uh, that's definitely uh, yeah, definitely happening. So, yeah, well, you know, your um, young male dog there isn't so much different than young male humans. <laughs> they, uh, they need a lot of exercise uh, as well, or they run astray. <clears throat> Yeah, that's uh, that's true. That's true, Tim. Um, it's interesting how things work, but you're right. You're right. Um, <laughs> well, good, good. I'm really impressed, uh, really, uh, because I've, I've been using Yesu Fusion, like I told you, and it sounds good. Uh, but th you know what? This sounds about the same to my ears. I mean, I don't have the best speaker here, but uh, it sounds uh, it sounds really good. And um, um, now now. I need your help in, in figuring out how the same repeater can be connected on a, well, I guess it would be a different uh, slot uh, to like uh, a more, a more uh, wider area, if you will. So multiple people, multiple users can, can access it uh, from like far away places. So there's there's two time slots, which means you can carry on two conversations at the same time. And the people that uh, program up the network decide which talk groups go in which time slot. And around California, um, time slot one is usually uh, local stuff. Uh, so the local channel and SoCal are in time slot one. And then California and uh, anything um, a larger area than California goes in time slot two. Um, so worldwide, uh, California, um, Pac 310, um, and all the push to talk groups, uh, those equivalents are all in time slot two. So that kind of means you can have a local or uh, or a local, not so local, uh, uh, SoCal conversation going on is the same time as the wider area conversations are going on. And it makes sense to me that they did it that way, that they kind of keep the, the wider area stuff over on one time slot and local stuff on another. Um, seems to work out well. I think it was a good plan. So, but that all is programmed in the in a network in the cloud, if you will, uh, with what they call C bridges or the devices that run the network. Okay, Roger that. Uh, Roger that. That's a, that's a really good explanation. Now, okay, it makes sense now. Um, yeah, very good, very good. Thank you so much, uh, Tim. Um, now. I, I heard you mention something about All Star that you have an All Star system. Is that in any way, shape, or form connected to, uh, a, you know, a DMR a repeater or a DMR network? No, and uh, my opinion is it's not a really good idea to tie uh, analog systems into digital systems. Uh, because the digital systems, the, uh, the codecs don't, uh, like noise. They don't, they don't, they just don't know how to process the noise. And, um, you get noise on, uh, analog systems. So, unless there's been some special DSP filter stuck in the way to filter out the noise from the analog systems, it's not gonna go, work very good. But people are playing with that, and we're gonna see more and more of that, so. We'll see how all that develops. But All Star is a repeater controller with internet linking, mainly for analog. Um, it is a, the linking is digital over the internet, just just kind of like what um, uh, DMR is doing. And the, the backbone is all digital, but it's uh, all analog uh, traffic. And it sounds really, 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 really good. It has really high quality audio. Um, that when you talk to people on other repeaters, you can't tell that they're on another repeater because there's there's no extra radius to go through. It's just one receiver to one transmitter, no matter where they are. So it's a really high quality, 
very functional um, analog uh, linking and um, a repeater controller. Okay, Roger that. Okay, that's uh, uh, that makes sense. Um, yeah, interesting uh, that the the audio quality is really uh, as good as you say it is. Wow, that's terrific. That's really terrific. Um, now, do you know how uh, with D Star they can make a DVAP dongle, which is basically a um, a miniature computer, I guess maybe, um, um, and and it's you know you can take it along with you and uh you know you can basically access different repeaters on dstar from the dvap dongle um and you can talk all over uh, i can go into a main server and, and and so on and so forth is that like a, is it like a, a dvap dongle for dmr just thought i walked inside and i lost you lucas doesn't work inside the house there Listen, I gotta go. Um, we're having a, a yard sale here, and we can catch up later and um, talk some more about the different networking. But uh, right now, I gotta run off on you. Sorry, but uh, we'll catch up again. Um, N one uh, CK. I'm sorry, son. I forgot your call. This is WD six AWP. Okay, uh, Tim. No worries. Tim, no problem. No problem at all. Um, We'll catch up with you later. You have a great day. And uh, this is N1CY, November 1, Charlie Yankee. Take care. Bye-bye, Tim. Well, there you have it, guys. This was a, um, uh, a DMR conversation. A DMR conversation with Tim. And uh, my camera is trying to focus here. Using the Titera MD380. A DMR radio it will do DMR and analog it's really a cool radio anyway 73s guys from N1CY bye bye hey guys what's going on here there you go